Good morning, YouTube. <gasps> Good morning. Hey, right, what's up, YouTube? So for today, I'm going to be baking a cake. And I also want to give you an update on my house plants. Because I'm so proud of them. I have a cake to bake today. So I'm going to show you all the recipe because the high key is going to be fire. So anyways, I don't know if you guys have seen those type of um, like TikToks where they like vlog or they do... Yeah, they do like vlog style makeup tutorials. So like while they're doing their makeup, they kind of like just talk about everything. So anyways, this is my foundation. It's I think it's Becca Cosmetics, pretty old. I got it at TJ Maxx. I don't know, but it, it works. Anyways, if anybody was wondering, yesterday I had one of my finals and I had been doing so good, literally the whole class. And then, I mean like high A type of good, come the final and um, I bombed it. Yeah, there's gonna be like a six point curve. I don't really know how to calculate curves, but I do know that I bombed the final. And by bomb, I mean like 67 out of 102. Personally, I can't explain that, but I mean, it is what it is. If you're gonna be watching this part and you're like, bro, what is she doing? You know, I don't know what I'm doing, but sometimes it looks good, so. And me your last night, Papi, ¿les quieres contar cómo venimos? Oh my gosh, a cada rato se despertaba. Es my poor baby, es, por, es porque le están saliendo los dientes. I just feel so bad. Because he's up all the time. And he like cries con los ojos cerrados porque está súper cansado. Y quiere dormir, pero no puede, no le permiten los dientes porque le duelen. Then I go in with the L'Oreal Infallible Concealer. Very rarely, I don't use that a lot because it kind of crinkles but it's the only concealer that I have. And when Emilio sleeps like he did last night and the night before and the night before and the night before and the night before and the night before, you know, then, and then I have a little bit of dark circles. For contour, I use Physicians Formula. So like, it's kind of like if we're on FaceTime right now. What do y'all want to know? No, I got a new plant. I got a new plant. Now that's what I can tell you guys. I have this white plant, I'll have to show you. Okay, so I went to the to Callaway's, the plant nursery, right? and I walked past the register and I was like, wait, and I saw these two plants at the register that they were like working on. I don't know what they were doing in them. I went up to the plants and I was like, oh my gosh. And I asked the ladies there, I was like, what type of plant is this? And they were like, oh, it's an angel wing. And I was like, angel, it's a sign. But then I was like, nah, I'm like a stay at home mom. Like I shouldn't spend money on plants, whatever. So I kept walking and I, they were like, yeah, there's, there's some more over there, I think. There's only a few of them. And I was like, oh my goodness. Give us your papa. So then I went to, I kept looking at the plants and then I was like, no, like I love that plant. Like, me, me estaba llamando el nombre. So I was like, okay, le voy a ir a tomar una foto and I'm gonna like read about them. Like, can I actually take care of them? Like, como se cuidan, etc., etc. So I went over there and I took a picture of them. So pretty. Y solo habían como unas cinco de las plantas. So I was like, dang, esta probablemente van a desaparecer, se van a vender, you know? Son hermosas. And they feel, the, the, the leaves feel like dog ears. Fui para la casa. Y mientras estaba con el, yo creo que mientras estaba durmiendo, I was like, wait, me acordé de las plantas. So I was like, okay, las voy a buscar. A ver qué dice de las plantas, cómo se cuiden, si es que hay algo que puedo hacer yo. Because previously, if you don't know, I wasn't a good, very good plant mom. So I was just Googling it and guess where they're from? Guess, guess, guess where they're from? Chile. Las plantas son chilenas. I was like, oh my gosh, esa noche dije, no, mañana tengo que ir a buscar una. It's a sign. I was like, it's a sign. La, la tengo que ir a buscar. Es para mí, obvio. The name. And then just that it's Chilean. I don't know. So maybe solo las quería. But anyways, guys, we'll be back. So I put on my apron and I finished doing my makeup and baby's asleep so since baby's asleep i'm gonna go ahead and get started in the kitchen baking with the tiramisu cake it's a meringue base so you have to make the merengue and then it's gonna be like a sponge cake for the for the cake part seis claras y cuatro yemas okay 
Guess who woke up from their nap? Baby! So, Bebe woke up from his nap, so ahora tengo que cocinar con él. And, estaba separando las claras y las yemas, y la cagué, así que tengo que empezar de nuevo. Así que aquí tengo las cuatro yemas, y tengo que empezar de nuevo acá con las cuatro, con las cuatro claras, porque va a ser como un merengue. O sea, seis claras. No importa, no pasa nada. Siete minutos no pasa nada. Y de ahí lo traté de sacar con una cuchara. Pero dije, no, ¿sabes qué? Me tiene que quedar bien. A empezar de nuevo nomás. Ya, pues, así que ahora estamos listos para hacer el merengue. Ahora aquí estoy con la batidora. Y aquí tengo tres cuartos de azúcar. Ok, acá tenemos el merengue, dicen que está listo cuando lo puedes dar vuelta y no se corre. No sé qué vamos a hacer porque mi hijo se me está aburriendo. Oh, realmente es chuto. Pero hijo, recién tomaste siesta. Así que ahora lo que tenemos que hacer es tenemos que hacer la parte de la torta. Que va a ser acá con las yemas. One teaspoon of good quality vanilla. Simply organic pure vanilla extract. ¿Qué pasó, papá? Ya está aburrido. Aquí tengo la mantequilla derretida. And then we're going to do one fourth cup of butter. So aquí tengo mi one fourth. Ya, y ahora two thirds cup of milk. I only have almond milk, which is okay. There's one, two. And I'm going to give it a quick mix with the mixer. And then we're going to add the flour. Y ahora va a ser one and one fourth cup of flour. So here's the one fourth, and then we're putting it through the strainer to make sure it's nice and fluffy. So I did one and a half teaspoons of baking powder in here. Don't forget to do that. And now this is what we're working with, and we're gonna add in the merengue. I just preheat my oven. Emilio's hanging in there with me. Alrighty, so now for the pans. Ideally, I would use parchment paper, lay it down to make sure I can lift it back up. But, I forgot the parchment paper. Baby is sleepy. So we're not making a run to the store. We're just gonna make sure we get a good layer of oil on there. You're also gonna be making it on baking sheets because we want the layers to be super thin to make sure we have three thin layers. So now that we have the oil on the baking sheets, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a one cup measurement and separate it out into the two sheets. So we've got this one over here, this will, which will be split down the half to make two layers. Then we have this one, and they look nice and layered. So now we're gonna pop them in the oven. So we're gonna pop them in the oven, let them bake, and then we're gonna come back once they're um, out of the oven. And hopefully, if I said I wasn't nervous, I'd be lying. Hopefully, they won't stick to the pan. There we have them, and we'll see you soon. Okay, what's up guys? So we're back. It has been, it's been like maybe three hours since the last video. But anyways, I'm, I'm working on the icing now. So what I've got here is I've got mascarpone cream, mascarpone cheese, and then I have um, the whipping cream in here, and then I have powdered sugar in here. Now I'm gonna mix it together and it should be good just like that. And I have my co cake cooling here. What's up vlog? Today is a very important day in Emilio's autobiography of life. On a scale of one to 10, how important is today? I said a thousand. Maybe you can hear Spanchel Manzi. Hola. Today, we're taking Emilio to the barber shop. <gasps> Vamos a llevar a Emilio al barbero. Porque tiene una tremenda chasca. 
Tiene muchísimo pelo. He lives about seven and a half months and we're gonna go take him to get his haircut. His very first haircut. We don't know how he's gonna react. We don't know, we don't know anything. So it's, we're kind of gonna be experimenting. So we're gonna vlog it and we're gonna take you guys with us. So last time I vlogged, I was making the cake and I think, I don't know what happened, but I, I forgot to vlog the end of the cake making. And then I forgot to vlog the final product. But I'm on, how was it? How was the tiramisu? It's actually, that was something I never tried before. I loved it. Um, I gotta say that Javier I can bake. Yeah, I can. But it was delicious. I don't know why I just stopped vlogging. But anyways, we're gonna go get the baby's haircut. Tiene mero casco. Muy, muy, pero muy peludo. Okay, so we're on our way. The appointment is in 20 minutes and I'm just a little worried because baby, his last nap he takes, he takes a nap like around one or two. And instead of sleeping like his rather regular 45, 50 minutes, solo durmió como 20 minutos. So he's running low on sleep. And he's he's a little bit sleepy, but we can't nap. We no podemos tomar siesta en este minuto. But anyways, I think I'm really prepared. I I brought him snacks. I brought him his favorite toys, and I was also um, preparing him for his haircut because I have the electric nail filer that I file his nails with, and I would like se lo ponía en la cabecita aquí, so he could kind of get used to the noise. Like, what type of haircut are we requesting? Oh, hog. Negative. <laughs> Negative. So I'm I think I'm I'm going in with no expectations, okay? If you don't ha if you don't set yourself expectations, you can't be disappointed. Tienes una última palabra? Esta la última vez con tu con tu pelo natural. 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 Dile tengo siete meses y medio. Sí, papá. Tell me why I was so nervous. We pulled up to the appointment 20 minutes early. <laughs> I'm embarrassed. Lo tratamos de peinar, pero como tienen pelo tan liso, se ven como si son chilenos. Conocen el zafrada. Mi hijo parece el zafrada en este momento. I didn't know they were going to be blasting Meek Mill. Why am I gonna cry? <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. María, qué niño más lindo. Te estabas portando muy bien a lo primero, pero a lo último ya, ya estabas empezamos, cansado. Cuando empezamos súper bien calladito, se movía muy poquito y de ahí le llegó el tuto. And then obviously, I mean, how long, how long can you give a baby a haircut for before they get tired? You know. Así que de ahí se empezó a cansar y de ahí, de ahí got a little stressful. Thank you guys so much for watching. Y si les gustó el video, si les gustó cómo se cortó el pelo mi hijo, si les gustó la receta del tiramisú, una manito para arriba. Oye, ¿estás bien? Ya, nos fuimos.